Hello, and welcome back to me talking over terrible audio. Um, luckily, I only have to do this for just a few minutes of this recording, because after a little while, my audio comes back, and hopefully it will stay that way. Um, this is, we are headed to, I don't even remember where the heck we're going, to be perfectly honest with you. We're headed somewhere to meet with, um, is it the Ruins in Faron? Or, F F is it Faron? Is that what it's called? I think that's where we're headed anyway. And, uh, you'll see as I get a little bit closer off in the distance. Hold on. Yeah, let me see. Um, right... Okay, yeah, so this is the Zanai. I think that this is this is where we're headed to the Zanai ruins. Give me a minute. I don't know if you can even hear like what I'm saying to that guy because it's so crackly, but I'm just reading. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is the Zanai ruins part, just making sure that this is the correct video. Can you hear that? It's telling us where to go if you can't hear it. Okay, so yeah, that guy's telling us where to go, where to find um, everyone for these on eye ruins. And as you can see, up here in the distance, where is it? Ah, right there. There's a shrine. I do that shrine. I cut that whole part out because you can't hear anything and the audio is terrible. And when it comes back, we go to the Zanai ruins. And by the time I get to the guy, my audio actually comes back properly without all of like the staticky background where like I sound like a robot and you can barely hear me so hopefully for the next video it will stay that way can't guarantee it but that's what I'm hoping I need to just like check all these videos real quick before I start editing so that I know if they're going to be terrible audio quality or not so yeah there we go now I'm going to head over to the Zanai rooms. You can hear a C. Ah, there you go. You can hear my voice coming back. It still sounds a little bit crackly at first, but once I get to that guy, the crackling goes away. So I'll let the regular audio take it from here. short of miraculous that it's still here and basically intact. Which, come to think of it, might ascribe to the Zanai's advanced technology. I've got a fair bit of knowledge of the script, so I just had to try deciphering it. But some of it still eludes me. Aww. Maybe it's a poem or some kind of code, perhaps? Oh, 
The first part says, Wear the electric garb hidden at the long neck dragon along the wide mouth forest serpent. What do you make of the forest serpent and dragons there? Mm -hmm. To me, it calls to mind the tall pillars found around these rooms designed to look like dragons. Forest serpent, though? I haven't seen any design like that. What am I missing? What other wide mouthed forest serpent is there? Maybe the forest serpent bit does remind me of a song that compared the Dragkuzu River to a forest dragon. But anyway, there's more to this code. I'll keep on reading. Mm. I'm pretty sure I got that right. I have no idea what it means. Mm -hmm. What in the world is a Zonai charge, and what is a tail with an altar? If we can crack all the riddles in this code, I'm sure that even greater discoveries await us. There's one other thing I'm curious about. Oh. I should have mentioned this, but I found one more Zonai relic at the back of these runs. Judging from the shape, I think there's something inside, but I can't get it to open. Oh. Can't crack the code. Can't get the box open. Just isn't my day.
Did you see that? Lightning struck that dragon pillar too. Huh? Somewhere in those ruins? <coughs> oh, it's you again. We think a terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm glad to see you weren't hurt. Oh. I've never seen light a lightning strike like that. And even stranger? The dragon statue's eyes seem to glow just before it. Link, if you know anything about this, fill us in on what happened. <coughs> Unbelievable. A mechanism in the ancient ruins got rid of the thunderclouds and revealed some new sky islands? Mm. Great catch! Another amazing discovery on the books. In <laughs> fact, I'd say it's the hall of the century. It's a, si it's a significant discovery, to be sure. I'd like to go investigate further, but we have no way of getting up there. Mm, you're right. It doesn't make, any, make it any less exciting, though. We need to report this to Pura right away. Oh. Caleb, I'm going back to the Carico village. I want to write up the recent events around the floating ring ruin in a report for Pura. You should stick around here to conduct a thorough investigation. Find out if there are any more discoveries to be made. What, remain here? You mean alone? Uh. Yes. Even if we can't get up to the sky, there's so much to discover on land. It's our duty to unravel it all. You can do this, Caleb. Uh. He wants me to do the investigation alone? Field work is not my strongest suit. This may be my chance to make a historic discovery. Uh. Right! Leave this to me, Toro. I'll need to head back to our base of operations for a bit first. Alright guys, I'm going to end this here because up next I need to go up to the Sky Islands again using the um, Sky View Tower. So I'm going to do that next time, and that's, uh, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. If you um, like this video, please let me know, comment, give it a like, whatever, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, and we will continue on our quest to find the fifth stage. Where is a shrine nearby? Can I already do the shrine that was nearby? Anyway, thank you so much for watching and yeah, let me know what you think. Bye!